go to Google, you type in dvprogram.state.gov, um, you click the top link, and then it will bring you to this website, okay? When you come to this website, you click on check status because that is what you're trying to check, all right? As you can see, it says entrance status check. So you're only checking your status. Now, you will click here, continue, okay? When we are on this page, we'll have to give this, you know, fill out this information. You just need three pieces of information. Your confirmation number, your last or family name, last name, surname, family name, um, and then uh, the year of birth, all right? When you have your confirmation number, it doesn't ask you for a lot of information. It basically asks you for just um, three pieces of information. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to type our confirmation number here, okay? And like I said, it doesn't have to be capital letters, um, but I like it this way. You don't have to, you don't have to type it in capital letters, okay? So let's keep on, okay. Okay, so now we are going to put in the last name. Guys, I've done this before, so I think it still has the cookies. That's why it remembers some of this information. All right, so I've typed in my confirmation number because I'm checking for the DV 2025 uh, program year. My confirmation number starts with 2025, okay? So that is one thing you should remember, 2025. So I've typed in my confirmation number, I've typed in my last name, type in my year of birth, and then you type in this co authentication code. So whatever is there, right? Uh, you type whatever is there, C5ATHC, okay? And that is all. And then you click submit, okay? When you click submit, there are two things that should happen. It's either it's going to tell you that this um, um, entrant has not been selected based on the information you provided. This entrant has not been selected or it will give you that congratulations. Um, it will give you KCC, which is the processing center's address. It's kind of like a letter address on the uh, right side of the page. And then on the left side will be your address, your name, your address, and then say, dear, a clear foy, dear, with your full name, just like you gave it during the registration, and then tell, tell you that you have been randomly selected for further processing for the DV 2025 program here. And then it give you the range and it give you, um, you know, a bit more information. If you did not receive this kind of information, then basically you are not selected. We say, you know, based on the information provided, this entrant has not been selected, all right? But let's say that you did all of this thing here. You click submit, right? And then you're getting this information here and it's saying uh, the, inf the information entered is not valid. Basically, what it's trying to tell you is that um, something here is not correct, all right? Something here is not correct. The first thing that you need to pay attention to is that did you participate in this DV lottery? Did you participate in this DV lottery? Obviously, for me, I did not participate in the DV lottery. So if I know I did not participate in it, then it makes sense that the computer does not have any of this information there. So it will tell you it's invalid because it is not able to um, match it with anything in the database. The next uh, issue could be that the confirmation number you entered, did you make any mistake with that confirmation number? Um, and um, you have to double check and see, hey, was there any mistake? Did I mistype something? Was this one here? Is it one or is it a letter I, right? So you have to make sure that, and this is exactly what it tells you here, that sometimes people interchange some of their letters some alphabets with numbers or vice versa. So make sure that you are um, not making that confusion here. And it's giving the example of the, the common uh, letters that people confuse them with some numbers. It has given that here. So read that, pay attention, and make sure that your confirmation number is correct. The other thing that you need to check is make sure that the last name that you put here, was it exactly what 
you gave it during the registration what you uh, is it exactly that you gave it during the registration and then the year of birth make sure that you know was that exactly that year that you gave during the registration that you were born in that year all right if you um you need to verify your information and then um, after you resolve that and make the correction right it should give you you should be um, not having this problem again all right guys this is all you have to do to check your status to see whether you've been selected it is simple it shouldn't take you more than five minutes okay um but this is all you have to do to check it and when it check and it tells you that you have not been selected no need for you to check again because the selection is done one time if you check and it says you have been selected yes then you proceed on to the next stage of your uh, uh journey but congratulations to all the people who have been selected uh thank you guys